I don't know about you, but it is so easy for criticism to hide in my heart to the point where I don't even notice it. It gets hidden in the guise of good judgment and um, common sense, and it gets wrapped up in offense and self-righteousness. And so often it is accompanied by phrases like, gosh, I would never do that, or what were they thinking? And it's such a trap because not only does it harden my heart towards others, giving me the comfort of the moral high ground, but it also sets the stage for my own judgment. This is what I mean. Have you ever noticed that the areas of your life that might cause you the most stress are also the areas of your life that you might have a tendency to be critical of others in? I want to give you an example that, although it sounds trivial, was such an eye-opener to me when I recognised the pattern in my life. So I live with what a friend recently and very kindly described as a creative swirl, which translates into, there is sometimes a certain amount of chaos in my home. Now, here's the thing. I like living with order and tidiness, I just find it really difficult to keep on a consistent basis. And when I'm at peace with myself and in my heart and I'm in a good place, I'm okay with that. And I just rejoice when I occasionally manage to tidy up. But when perhaps peace isn't reigning in the same way in my heart, I might frantically grab a few moments to sparkle and order my home and then the kids come rushing in and their shoes and their coats and their socks and their bags and their books and their muddy feet go absolutely everywhere. And in my irritation and frustration, I say things to them like, you are so messy. When are you going to learn? What is wrong with you? Guess what? Peace isn't reigning in anyone's heart by that stage. But here's the thing, a few days later when when my own creative swirl has caused chaos throughout the entire house, that same standard comes back to bite me in the butt and I find myself being chased around my home with accusations like, you are so messy. When are you gonna learn? What's wrong with you? The standard I used on my kids is the standard that's being used on me and it is a fine rod to beat myself and others with. I want to share a passage with you that speaks directly to this. I love the way Jesus gets into the nitty gritty of our lives and, and he reaches into the darkest recesses of our hearts and he pulls everything out into the light. And he is so for our freedom and for the freedom of others. I'm going to share it with you in the Passion Translation. Refuse to be a critic full of bias towards others and judgment will not be passed on you. For you will be judged by the same standard you use to judge others. The measurement you use on them will be used on you. I mean, why would you focus on the flaw in someone else's life and yet fail to notice the glaring flaws of your own? How can you say to your friend, let me show you where you are wrong, when you are guilty of even you are being hypercritical and a hypocrite. But first, acknowledge the blind spots in your own life and deal with them. Then you will be capable of dealing with the blind spot of your friend. <laughs>